Hi guys, it's Judson with BlackOvis.com again. Today I'm going to talk about bino harnesses, okay? So with Black Ovis, we carry a very wide selection of bino harnesses. You've probably seen a couple here and there, uh, but today I wanted to go over all the different brands and all the different styles of bino harnesses that you're probably going to going to see. We we carry all of these, we offer them. There's actually more beyond what I'm going to show you today that are available for sale. Um, one thing to note is that there's all different kinds of binos. There's there's eight there's tens there's there's 15 by 50s there's different sizes of binoculars and so each brand has their own solution for those so look at the actual product pages we've, we've got um, kind of a sizing chart for each of them and for the most part the the general optics that people use we've kind of outlined which packs are going to fit which optics if you have ever if you have any questions feel free to just reach out to us we're happy to kind of help you to get into the right size pack okay um so let's go ahead and get started First, I wanted to talk about Alaska Guide Creations. Now, for us here at Black Ovis, they, they've been a really great partner. It's uh, for us, it's the it's the best-selling pack that we've been able to sell. They're a great pack. They uh, and and really, you know, it's it's kind of the original pack, original vinyl harness design. So Jared Owens, 40 years ago, he's got a picture of of kind of a sewn leather vinyl harness that uh, that he kind of tells he's like oh well, I came up with this concept a while ago you know I know everybody's kind of got their own take and you'll see that here today but really um, we've we've had a really good relationship with them and we've you know, we've even um, gone through and done our own custom pack but to go through the Alaska guide here it's really got a lot of the same features as as the others but they really they've added and engineered it very well so um so it's got a main pocket for the binocular just like all those that you'll see here uh, but then really kind of a, on a 360 degree basis here he's got um you know he's designed a kind of a feature to go in every side so on the sides you have a couple different options you've either got a zip pocket on the side or a mesh pocket that you can kind of slip in and out to um, some items on the side on the bottom uh, there, there is a max option. So if you're looking on our website and see, oh, this is the Cub Max. Okay, that means that there's just this this basement pocket here. Um, some of the packs have a, a rangefinder pocket or kind of an accessory pocket on the front uh, that you'll find. Um, but uh, kind of depending on the model, those will those will come and go. On all the AGC packs, our Alaska Guide Creations packs, um, you'll have this stretch pocket up top. I like to put my phone up there. Um, there's kind of a lot of uses for that. And then on the back side, that kind of rides along along your chest, you've got kind of a light mesh pocket. I actually, I use that to kind of keep, put my licenses in. I put them in a plastic baggie, put my licenses in there, my SD cards, a lot of things there. So, but that's, you know, kind of a good standard model um, binocular harness. This one's called the Cub. So the Alaska Guide Creations uh, Kodiak Cub is the name of this one. We've, we've actually come up, um, um, there's there's a few different models there's the cub there's the kiss you'll see that that's kind of the minimalistic one it has the mesh side pockets and no range finder pocket in the front um, at Black Ovis, we actually had them create a, a, an exclusive product for us where it's kind of an in-between. The Cub has the zip side pockets um, but uh, we wanted to do one with a range finder pocket in the front and also the mesh side pockets on the sides. And so that's an exclusive product for us. It's called the hybrid. And so while you're searching on the site, that's what you'll find. But it's it's got all the same features. Um, searching the internet, you'll see that, uh, you know, some of the Alaska Guide Creations packs, they'll have a buckle system on the front. For, for Black Ovis, we elected to do kind of a, a hook and bungee type system. So it's nice and quiet. There's no snaps, there's not, nothing making noise there. So, uh, but that's, that's kind of what we've got from Alaska Guide Creations. Uh, next up is, our, is, is Sitka. And I apologize, I've only got the, I've only got the one pack here. Uh, but basically, they, there's different sizes. They actually have this pack in different colors as well. So you've got the open country here. It comes in the subalpine. This is um, more of the, I, I think it's the, uh, so it's the eight, eight by 10, kind of, so kind of the smaller mid, mid, uh, mid range binoculars. They've got one built for larger binoculars. So when you get into your 12s and your 15s, you'll be able to slide those in there. Um, but you know, good, good, uh, you know, a basic bino harness. It's got, it's got the main pocket, uses a zipper system in the front. And then you've got a magnet kind of holding it in the back. Um, you've got the harness that comes with it. Um, you've got a lens cleaner, which doesn't, doesn't come very often on, on vinyl packs. Um, you've got the side stretch pockets to where you can fit wind checkers or, um, or other accessories in the sides, lens, lens cleaners and stuff. 
Um, it does have tethers uh, that you can put on the sides of the binoculars. So if you if you've got this open, you bend over, or jump up, or whatever whatever's going on. Even if your binoculars fall out, they're gonna they're gonna be on that tether. These are stretchy as well, um, and so uh, so it's gonna give a little shock absorption. There's some side pockets down in here for for convenience, but otherwise it's it's really it's a good take by Sitka on the binocular harness concept. So um, again, comes in the two different colors, uh, various different sizes to make sure you're matching, you know, uh, the the optic that you're using, and then also uh, kind of matching the other camo that you might have. All right, next up is Mystery Ranch. So another another great partner for us on blackovis.com. Um, so Mystery Ranch, they've got theirs. Again, different sizes available, different colors. This is the Coyote Brown. They've got it in foliage. They've got it um, yeah, in a dissolve camo as well. Um, but really, yeah, another great design, kind of good mesh back, main pocket. Now the closure system is, is pretty unique on this pack where it's it's got a magnetic catch and so as you kind of slide this clip down, it'll it'll actually catch there on the magnet and close. And just to get it undone, you just yank down and are able to to get that to to, to pull that up. A lot of these bino harnesses are, are one hand accessible. You just need to you know go through, kind of reach up and in, and you can you can you know one hand with the with the binoculars so that way you're not setting on your bow or trying to trying to finagle it some way. So, but another good design. It's got that front pocket there, just kind of a zipper zipper accessory pocket you can throw your calls in there or other other accessories on uh, and then and then stretch side pockets as well so like we've seen on some of the other packs there but yeah a good option again different sizes different colors available there on that uh, on that mystery ranch uh, next up and uh, another another great seller for us is are the Badlands packs now Badlands they've got lots of different models they've actually got some newer newer renditions here and they've really done well in the marketplace for binocular harnesses here last last several years this is one of their newer ones it's called the XR harness uh, so it's got it's kind of got two um, two different pockets here so uh, you know kind of a main main pocket here it does use a magnet um, kind of pops pops in and out there uses a magnet it's got some storage in there a main main pocket there the main pocket is adjustable too so there's kind of an optional kind of a basement pocket here where if you've got a rangefinder you can kind of pop it down in there or if you've got a larger set of binoculars 12 power 15 power binoculars you can actually remove that separation there or slide it down to the bottom to where you can fit bigger binoculars now as far as the profile that's kind of what you're looking at um, as far as that goes it does take a little bit more room on the chest but is a, is a great option for the guys if you're already in approach camo um, that's a good way to go um, I, I dropped the other one down here uh, another option from Badlands is the mag um, pack you know, vinyl harness. And this is kind of the classic one that a lot of guys have used um, used here in years past. So really, really unique uh, kind of storage design. This is kind of on the inner flap there. Great place to hold calls, other accessories, lens cleaners, that kind of thing. Uh, it does come with stretch tethers as well. Um, you know, and, and if you're walking around, you can kind of keep that open, access the things you need. And then it do, does just kind of just kind of flip back up. And there's a magnet that goes along the top. They did come out with a couple new designs. They've actually got five or six different pack now vinyl harnesses, and we carry them all. So be sure to kind of check check the site. You know, on Badlands uh, the Badlands uh, uh, brand page, you can see all the different packs they carry as well as all the different vinyl harnesses they carry because they do they've really done a great job uh, making several different designs for the for the vinyl harnesses uh, in that uh, in that area uh, next up is FHF gear so FHF I believe stands for fish hunt fight uh, really good it's a it's a I guess a a couple up in Bozeman, Montana, I guess Belgrade, Montana, um, that, that puts these, these together. These are sewn right there in Belgrade. They, uh, um, yeah, so they are American made. Uh, definitely more of a classic design and very simplistic, very accessible, one-handed um, to kind of open up, get access to that, uh, to that main pocket and a very, very slim design. So I mean, really, as far as the profile, even with optics in there, you're looking about like that. Doesn't take a lot of, uh, lot of room on the chest and the, these ones really they, they hold them up high you know some of these other packs they kind of ride differently high low medium but these do they ride very very tight to your body they're very very snug and um, and they and they are a little bit up higher 
you know, a little, little bit up, up a little bit further to where you can just, it's a really short distance to be able to get your binoculars on. So another great option. These do come with a, um, a wind check bottle. Doesn't come with the powder inside. So whether you're using talc or another type of powder, but that that's in there. So it's, it's kind of already fitted for, uh, for that style uh, to go in there. These do come up and I didn't bring them here. There's some really good add-ons uh, to this pack. So they have some um, strap pads. So just kind of a cushion that goes on to the outside of this. They have a like a rangefinder holster that kind of clips onto the side. There's GPS holsters that you can put on the other side. There's lanyards. It's really kind of a cool uh, kind of a, a spring stretch lanyard that you can also add on to add on to this. We've got those all available on the site. Just kind of look at the the, the FHF gear brand page, and uh, it'll kind of you can kind of see those different options and things available for for this pack. So, but yeah, as far as design, yeah, main pocket, there's a little zipper pocket right here. When I was on a 3D shoot, one of his, one of the guys uh, actually put his release in there, but it'd be a great place to put calls as well. So, but yeah, another great option, different, different sizes, different colors as well on, again, on all these packs. Uh, and there's, there's kind of a look at that, that foliage color. I just, I think that looks awesome. I don't, I don't rock any foliage in my, uh, in my camouflage gear, but that's just, that's a good looking, good looking pack. Um, next up is Everly stock. And so Everly Stock has their uh, rendition of it. Everly Stock is known for being just, just a very robust, very beefy, um, and very protective um, pack line. And so with their bino harness, that's definitely not, not an exception. So they've done a good job, um, you know, really putting together an extensive, you know, very, I mean, heavily padded, heavily engineered uh, bino pack. The weight is, you can tell there's, it's, it's a very robust pack as well, uh, but there's crazy options available with it too. So that's kind of a look on the inside. So it just kind of opens up, kind of goes forward, you know, similar to some of these other packs here. Um, got some zipper pocket options, little tuck pocket there. Um, you know, you can fit uh, your eight, you know, eight tens and probably twelves, you know, in there. It's got the bungee uh, tether as well. Um, then you've got uh, zipper pockets on the sides, and that is a waterproof zipper as well as a heavy DWR fabric on the outside. And so really you're, you're, you're keeping really good care and, and, and putting real good protection on those binoculars, especially I mean, if you've got some of the more expensive binoculars, it's good to, to really, you know, you know go, go for, some, uh, for a bino harness that's going to protect that investment. Um, next up is, is Tenzing. They've kind of got their, uh, you know, their take on a bino harness as well. Um, and really it's, this is a very minimalist, uh, harness. It's more of a cover, I would say. So this actually straps around your, your body. And then what goes over will actually tether to your binoculars. And so literally all you're going to do is as you take your binoculars out, so your tether is going to be around the side and then there's straps that come over uh, across the top as well. So, but as far as weight, as far as simplicity and, and tightness, I mean, it's just all going to be right here. You've got some stretch packets, excuse me, pockets on the side that, uh, you know, really is a good, simple uh, solution for a, for a bino harness. Uh, next up, and one we've done also very well with is Alps. Uh, so part of their extreme line, very well uh, made and a good option for, for a bino harness. Again, kind of a hook and bungee system there. You've actually got a Molly option here on the side, as well as the FHF, I forgot to explain that. There's, there's some Molly options to where you can add you know, other options like a bear spray holster or other, other things. So, um, but you've got a main pocket here, you've got stretch pockets, uh, or I guess stretch pocket on this side, Molly on this side, uh, and then a, then a pocket on this, uh, on the front there. So just again, for some calls and yeah, it looks like uh, it comes with a lens cleaner as well. So another good option, a very good partner for us and a really kind of an emerging brand for us here at Black Ovis. We've been able to move their packs really well and as well as these vinyl harnesses we're getting, yeah, the numbers are getting up there. Um, next up is, is Vortex. Uh, so Vortex, this is their glass pack um, bino harness. Uh, they've also got one uh, very, very similar to the, the Alaska Guide Cub, actually manufactured by them, but uh, it's got a Vortex logo on the front there. Um, but then this is their kind of their in-house glass pack version uh, to where, uh, yeah, again, just, you know, main pocket there. Stretch pockets on the side, just a really good and kind of a budget option, really, if you're, you know, looking just for something to, protect your optics, you know, and, and something to keep, kind of keep it there, a functional piece to where you can get optics up pretty quick. That's a, that's a good way to go. Uh, next up is Horn Hunter. And this is kind of a new arrival for us here at Black Ovis. Um, so, but one that's, you know, they're, they're local, they're, they're a Utah company. Um, 
and, uh, and they've got a great solution for the vinyl harness. And, and one thing that these guys do very well is the profile. So look at that. I mean, there's just really a low profile option there. Um, if you buy it in the combo, we have that available on the site. It comes with this rangefinder pocket, which is removable. So you just kind of pop that off there and you can, you can slide that off there. But, uh, but yeah, very good option. And we actually sell more combos than we do the standalone uh, binocular harness. On the back, you'll see that you've kind of got that back backside zipper zipper pocket, tuck licenses, tuck S, or, uh, yeah, SD cards for trail cams or whatever you need in there. But another, um, another great option. Another one to consider is the outdoor vision. And this is another new arrival for us here at blackobus.com, but it, it, it's a great option. Very well built. It's actually built on the East Coast. And these guys have a really good uh, rendition of a bino harness. And so this is kind of a, a top opening, but kind of front, uh, front facing uh, you know, harness option. So basically it's kind of a, you know, just a, a way to kind of do that. There's magnets that actually will hold that down in place there so as you uh you need it it's got full coverage so well, i guess you got a little bit of little little missing there on the side you got the stretch pockets um you got a frontal zipper zipper pocket and one cool thing that these guys do is they actually include kind of a little a little kind of a first aid kit it's got a you know a few band-aids in there got some uh some deep for for mosquitoes and stuff like that but just a Kind of a little little add-on that they decided to throw in there. Kind of a fun uh, fun little option there. It's got a zipper zipper pocket on the bottom that uh, that does have a uh, so a rain cover. And this is one there. There's a few rain cover options for these, but Outdoor Vision decided to include it standard in their uh, in their kit as well. Kind of very reminiscent of a shower cap essentially, but basically kind of tethered right in there, and then you're able to throw that over if you get in the rain or if you're on a four-wheeler want to keep the dust off a little bit better uh, but that just kind of slides over the top there so but yeah so there there you have it I mean those we've got a lot of options available for binocular harnesses we you know we've got a huge category for it but there's a lot of demand I mean where you're, where you're spending in, in some cases thousands of dollars for an optic it's important to protect that investment so Pick up, you know, pick up a good bino harness. There's lots of options to choose from. Our guys are very well versed on the different options that uh, that we carry here on the website. So feel free to call us up if you have questions on on any pack at all. Just give us a call. We'll be happy to kind of guide you into into getting the right bino harness, and uh, and we're happy to help. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll we'll be happy to yeah share share more gear videos as they come available. Thanks for watching.